Fox News title says Israeli ministry suspends Jewish status of 2,200 children. That sounds like a huge deal. Let's see what the summary says. The Israeli Interior Ministry has denied the Jewish status of more than 2,200 children born to immigrants from the former Soviet Union. Typically, the investigations begin when a citizen uh, from the former Soviet Union has a child and registers it with the ministry. It appears that when officials notice that an individual is from the former Soviet Union, they begin their investigations into their Jewish status by examining immigration documents. When the interior ministry flags up an individual they believe not to be Jewish, a letter is sent to them informing them of the interminent issues with their Jewish status. Inter Mean it. Okay, no. The letter informs the, uh, the addresses that should they refuse to agree to their change in status and be unable to provide requisite proof that they are indeed Jewish, the ministry will seek a court order to change their status without their permission and threatens that they will be liable to pay court costs as well. Holy crap. I mean, if this is not an ethno state, I don't know what else what is. This is horrific. This is like, what is this not being called out as absolutely racist nonsense? Well, they're revoking their chosen status. But this goes way back. Like, there was a uh, Rabbi uh, Yitzhak Yosef, a Sephardi uh, rabbi back in like, January 2020, maybe December, he said that the all the Soviets were communist I, religious I, say that again. boys. Your, your microphone got cut. Say um, it again. There's been a lot of Lord. issues with people not liking Soviet Jews because the law of re right of return they were allowed to come and many immigrated to israel but they've suffered a lot of slurs uh slights especially from conservative um rabbinic figures because israel has the under the law of return they conferred the citizenship rights to any jew but they have the same they consider you a Jew in the same way that the Nazis do, even the grandchild of a Jew. So they guarantee citizenship to the spouse, the child, grandchild of a Jew, but you have to prove it. But the Soviets were kind of an anti-religious country. So a lot of these people who were Jews weren't really practicing. They were very secular. Um, they didn't really have a Jewish life religiously but they came to israel and so they suffered a lot of slights from the very religious people and there was a sephardi uh rabbi back in i think it was 2019 or early 2020 yitzhak yosef he called them communist religious hating goys he said they weren't even jews and he said there's thousands of goys came to israel and that explain what a goy is to people a non-jew a goyim it's a non not term for a non-jew and he you know they were saying that he was inciting hatred and there were all these complaints against him but this kind of um slurs and dislike of a lot of these soviet jews particularly by the very conservative Rabbinate that runs a lot of Israel in terms of marriages, in terms of registering as a Jew, in terms of registering your child as a Jew, all of these things, these are all run by this very conservative rabbinate. These are the people that are, you know, revoking the, the chosen status of all these kids. And one of the people whose status they said that they're not a Jew anymore was the um, grandchild of a Holocaust survivor, I believe. Wow. She was a Soviet, what they call a re refusenik, someone who uh, 
and she was able to leave the Soviet Union, and she was married through the rabbinate, which means she was married as a Jew through an Orthodox marriage, but then they refused to register as Jewish the child of, the grandchild of this woman. And they're, um, and a lot of these people that they're refusing to register, either their children, their grandchildren, they were all married by Orthodox rabbinates, which means those people saw them as Jews in the beginning. So I don't know what the deal is. They don't like the Soviets. They want to get rid of them. It's very crazy. And also the Soviets, children of Soviet immigrants are always flagged first, it seems like, or quickly. They flag them a lot. So Michael and, Sherlock is asking, what are the civil rights implication of this denial of citizenship? There, is there citizenship being channeled or just no, some of the right? No, their Jewish status, which actually then reflects on a lot of things. So, for example, you can only get married um, in Israel as a Jew under Orthodox, under the rabbinate. So you don't have like a civil marriage or funeral status or like divorce through the rabbinate so there's all these things any any other privileges that you might um lose? trying to remember well there's probably right of return privileges so if you're hmm. not a jew anymore if you have relatives somewhere else or other children and they've taken away your jewishness status then what happens to all those other people's Jewishness status. And you have to prove it through all these documents, like they might ask, but a lot of these Soviets can't prove it because the Soviet Union wasn't a religious right. country and the Jews there were persecuted if they were practicing. So they're kind of in this catch-22. Um, I'm not sure exactly how, like they're harassing these families that some people are saying, you know, I'm not sure exactly what other things that they lose besides, um, you know, civil things like marriages, divorces, registering children, things like that, because wasn't there are non-Jews that are citizens of Israel. <laughs> wasn't Sorry, it supposed the... to... It's okay. Wasn't it supposed to be like, if you are... When I was in Israel, they told me that the idea is that if you're Jew enough for the Nazis, you're Jew enough right. for Israel to be considered a Jew. So, I mean, if these right. are Holocaust survivors, why are they not good mm, enough well, for Israel? Well, this one woman was, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, um, um, that was always what the right of return, one Jewish grandparent. But, mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, though, the rabbinate, the budget is depends on public funds apportioned by religious political parties, right? Mm -hmm. And they have it's all this um, control over Jewish education, religious marriages, religious conversions, and these ultra orthodox people are like the kingmakers for everything, and they control all of that kind of civic, civilian or civic rather stuff, marriages, divorces naming of children all all of that okay just, so beach is asking beach is asking i thought it was supposed to go by if your mom is jewish not your not your politics it is supposed to go by that i mean that's the matrilineal descent but you can also prove it through like one jewish grandparent but like for me to have to prove it i had to show my parents ketuba which is the marriage contract and then i also had to show my birth certificate my hebrew name with my hebrew name and then there were a couple other things my parents birth certificates if i had them if i had my grandparents ketuba there was there's several things they want to see um and some people can't find all those things but there was when the soviet jews came there was the, they uh, originally were embracing them it was a big deal you know but now there's a lot of um 
All right. Uh, by the way, guys, we mentioned the uh, we we uh, because Rift Cross said it, I said it as well. We mentioned not Nazis, but, but we shouldn't. We should be. We should have said like the bad people from World War Two. Because now that we said it, now that we said it, YouTube is like uh, is going to use the algorithm against this video, and it's not going to get promoted. It's not going to show in recommendations and people's feeds. So please share the video so that we could actually grow. Well, using these words, but we should have, we shouldn't use these words. Uh, go on, sorry. I wanted to say one more thing. The other thing that's interesting about this whole thing is Avador Lieberman is um, a secular uh, politician. He's got like a secular um, coalition and he was kind of, provoked some of the issues going on with the Netanyahu government and then the blue and white coalition and then him and he was refusing to uh, yield to these demands of these religious parties and tons of his supporters are Soviet emigres and so it's interesting because he's secular and a lot of his supporters are Soviet emigres and then all these very religious Rabinates and all these Orthodox parties are against these Soviet guys, Rabinates, because they say they're anti-religious, but they support the secular guy who doesn't support the religious. So there's like politics at play here, too. Can I say something? And I know mm -hmm. this might be sound. Um, just to be clear, I'm not saying they're at all the same. I'm not saying the same level, not even close. I'm going to make a comparison. But I'm not suggesting they're at all the same, okay? I know they are astronomically different. Um, but I just want to point this out, okay? If you're going to be offended, get offended. I don't care. Um, I thought one of the le takeaway lessons from Nazi Germany, one of the takeaway lessons is to realize that trying to figure out people's worth and rights based on their lineage is not, it's generally not a good idea. I thought that was one of the takeaways. I don't know if that lesson has been lost to us. <laughs> I would agree with you. I would agree that it's not just Nazi. I mean, I think that anybody who, may, who makes a list based on, you know, your bloodline and where you're right. from and, you know, who your mom is and and that says, you know, your worth as a human being, it seems arbitrary, capricious, stupid. You can't really prove anything, but it's a Jewish state and these religious people are in control and they want to make this this uh you know sort of line who is and who isn't and honestly i think this speaks to something even bigger about the israel and a problem that i think is going to happen and it's happening now but i think it's going to come either the 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 is it going to be a very religious country or or is it going to go more secular and there's all kinds of secular people who live there who don't like the stranglehold that religious ha religion has on it and they don't like the ranking of your jewishness mm. i think you know? like the two top countries that are right now trying to do some version of an ethno state are israel and india um and you know, demographic engineering based on people's ethnicity. There, these are the two top countries that are attempting that, and that's why they're getting along. They're like, let's help each other out, let's learn from each other, let's copy each other's strategies. Um, anyways, this should be called out as bullshit. Uh, and I say that as somebody that uh, really likes Israel as a country, but I like it enough to call out its horse shit like stuff like this, right. Well, you um, should. I mean, you should respect a country enough, if you do like it, to call out the things that you think are bullshit or wrong or could be better. Hmm. And for me, I think that that's really important because I think that if Israel should be treated just like another country, you know, that, hmm. that 
they they do good things, they do bad things, they have good laws, they have bad laws, just like anybody else, any other oh, country. Smithy is actually pointing at also China uh, favoring the the Han uh, pretty as heavily is also the case. Yeah, you're right, actually, Smithy. That's a good point. Um, and unfortunately, like India and China are going to become tomorrow superpowers. So human rights, bye bye. Um, great. Uh, by the way, Shopam, did you want to add anything to this? Well, not really. I mean, this. Okay, is the next one is more up your alley, right? News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also. If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look like, oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So